Hey guys, my name is Thomas, one of the developers of the game, and today I want to give you an insight into the world we have created, the customization options, and what adventures you have to look forward to. So let's get started. The first thing I want to show you is the character creation and customization tool. We have spent a lot of time focusing on customization. This is something that is really important to us, to be able to create a protagonist character that is individual and personal to every player and adventure. We have four playable classes. Each class has both male and female playable characters, and once you have chosen your class, the specific tailoring can begin. With the character customization tool, we can do anything you want with this character from head to toe. As mentioned, customization and creativity are key to us for every and all players to experience the world in the way they want. There are options to change the look of all individual parts like the armors, including the suit or the cloth. The dimension, size, and shape of your character are also customizable, so if you want to have a height advantage over your impending enemy, or you want your character to be small, nimble, and speedy, then so be it. But the customization doesn't just stop at the body. By offering the opportunity to alter your character's face, you can bring their emotion in battle to life. Starting with the skin selection, you can go on to edit your character's eye and even add a lens filter to give them extra flair. We have not restricted your character to merely human form. So whether you are wanting to go into battle as an orc-like creature, or lead your enemies into a sense of false security with a beautiful princess, then there is an option for you. The latter option has always been my character of choice. I find players are a lot more generous to a female character. Now that I have my protagonist ready, we can begin. Let's have a quick look at the user interface. In the bottom right of the screen, you can see the important buttons that will help you to control the game. Players have levels, experience, gold, skills, inventories, equipment, and attributes. This is where you will find the many options available to you as a player. You can create a guild, craft a weapon, or armor in preparation for the next battle. Just above these buttons, this is where you will find your quests given to you by NPCs. Let's talk to the smuggler and see what he has for us. Items can be traded and purchased from NPCs as well as offering a plethora of quests and adventures for you to discover. They can also be full of useful information that will help you on their dedicated quest or another you may be already on. I'm going to purchase a helmet from him for now, and it's as easy as that. I may not need it now, but I have a feeling it's going to be essential later on. I've spotted another interactive NPC, so let's see what he has for us. We've been given the choice, and I'm going to ask him to show me the way. Perfect. Now I know where I have to go next. As we explore the city further, you can see the rich detail of the buildings and surroundings, as well as the characters living their lives that has been included. We wanted to make the player feel truly immersed and by having a world that lives and breathes around you, not for you works perfectly. I've journeyed to the Shaman House, reached level 2 and been given my first task, so let's accept it. All discovered places are saved to your map. You can use the map anytime to return or continue with your quest. Main quests will be given directly by NPCs, very similar to this, but if you don't complete them, you won't be able to upgrade your skills or activate your abilities. Rewards can differ greatly depending on the task from pets or mounts to experience points and equipment. In the journal you can see current and completed quests.
Great, now that my enemy is dead and I have the recipe book needed for my quest, as well as some additional gold, I can return to the shaman and... Great, quest completed. With a quest and an enemy battle under my belt, I have reached level 4. Now I can collect my reward. Mounts allow the player to move more quickly across the map, reducing time spent traveling and the chance of being attacked by waiting enemies. Pets can be purchased, summoned, and trained. They will fight alongside their owner. Now that I have completed my quest, I am able to meet the Great Oracle, as only she knows the ancient recipes of Gondwana. Unfortunately, I don't know how to find her. Perhaps our helpful NPC can be of assistance again. He has showed me the way again, and now I can make my way there. As you can see, we can still fight while mounted, also giving us an advantage. Now that he is out of the way, and I have collected all of his items, I can continue on to find the Oracle. Items taken from slain enemies will help form and create recipes for a number of different potions to use throughout the game. I've reached the Oracle and she has given me a recipe. Now I just have to mix the right ingredients and the potion will be mine. I've crafted it correctly and now have an available combat skill point which I can use. I think I'll find someone to test it out on now. You can see how quickly I unmounted and it's not long before a target to practice my new skill on is in sight. He didn't stand a chance. As your experience grows, you will be able to craft more skill points making you an ever-increasing soldier. I'm going to fast travel back to the meeting point and find another NPC to see what other quests they have for me. Kill the Guardians? I think I'm ready for that. This time I'm going to opt for my other mount to find the gates faster. I think if I saw someone riding at me on one of these, I'd be terrified. I'm now out of the city walls and the different landscapes, terrain, and surroundings are obvious. This is a world full of variety and life, and the player will be able to experience it all. With another enemy in our midst, I'm going to equip my helmet that I bought from the smuggler earlier. Glad I thought ahead. All equipped items will affect your stats. With our added defense and damage points, I'm ready to take him on. Another foe down, and more items from their body to scavenge. You can see how well the helmet worked, right? It was well worth the gold.
Our combat system has a variety of options going into battle. We want you to be best prepared for what may lie ahead, so with regular attacks, blocks, and critical hits, you can take down your opponent however you choose. What's this? A new discovered area, Arena. I'm going to take this time to have a look through my recent loot from my enemies and see what I can craft from them. I already have a helmet, so let's have a look at crafting a magic wand. With the right ingredients added to the recipe, the wand is mine. Now I have to return to the NPC that gave me the quest. I can use my fast travel here again. I've got myself a new pet that I can summon, and it will stay by my side and protect me when needed. Let's go back to the mountains of West Dagger, where we discovered the arena. Whoa, he must have been waiting for me. Good thing I took the time to prepare and craft and summon my new companion. I think it's time to take the big boss on. With my added defense and attack skill points, I can make easy work of this boss. And some extra loot to take from him. We're coming to the end of today's preview. We feel very privileged to be able to present this to you. We have really tried to build and create a world that our players will love and want to return to and complete quest after quest. With in-game collaboration in mind, it offers a party system to hunt monsters in a group, a guild system for long-term adventuring amongst players. What's fighting alongside friends if you can't communicate? Chat is available so you can plan and strategize your next move and conquest easily as well as buy, sell, and trade in our player-to-player -player trading system. I hope after today's short demo that we have piqued your interest and we look forward to updating you with more videos and playable access soon. Follow us at... And thank you for watching.